Hello all, this is Ashwin. So in this particular video, we are going to see how to write our first Python program. Uh, so let's get started with writing a Python program, writing and executing a Python program on Windows uh, computer. So in order to get started, we have to open the command prompt, which can be opened by typing CMD in the search bar. Just open the command prompt. Now, uh, this is the command prompt window for Windows operating system. Uh, so first of all, we have to type the program. Obviously we have to use uh, an, an editor. So a text editor basically. So you can use any text editor that you like. You can use uh, notepad, notepad plus plus, or you can even use wordpad. Okay. So just um, make sure that you are not going to save it in a rich text formatting. Okay. The program file always has to be a plain text file. So let's see how it works. So I'm going to write a program using notepad prog01 dot py okay so now i'm going to invoke the notepad uh, and the file the uh, will be uh, by default it will be named as prog01 dot py so whenever we are going to save the file we it, it won't actually ask us for the name to be saved name and the path to uh, where it has to be saved so i'm just going to press enter so it asks me cannot find the uh, prog01.py file do you want to create a new file just say yes type print customary hello world you can say anything i mean you can type uh, my first python program or you can just um, type your own name so i'm going to save this thing it has been saved and now we know that in Windows operating system, if uh, only one interpreter is installed, that is Python 3, it can be invoked using Python, the command Python. Okay, so we are just going to say Python space prog01.py and it will execute the code file that we have just created. Okay, so this is how we create and execute the first Python program. Now, uh, there are few things that you have to uh, you have to know before uh, you uh, go ahead with that you can the first thing is that we can use any editor of our choice we can use as i have mentioned earlier you can use notepad you can use even notepad plus plus few people are a great fan of that too i know that and a few people can even prefer wordpad because it gives you uh, like at least uh, it, it can be used for like uh, nice formatting and all that sort of stuff On, only you have to make sure that the file is saved as it is i mean without any sort of rich text formatting if you are going to use any sort of like advanced editor okay so also uh, you must have noticed that i am using an extension uh, uh, py okay so i am just like uh, mentioning dot and py after the end of the file name so py extension is usually associated with the python code source files so it is not mandatory that you you should actually have dot py as an extension to your file so let's see an example of that i am just going to create a simple file without any sort of extension prog01 okay so let's type so let's have a small variation in our program we are just going to use a single quote in place of double quotes so just type hello world again and again and save this okay so we are actually not saving it uh, um, with any extension so it is still supposed to the interpreter is still supposed to know that it's a python code and let's see okay it has saved it as a txt file okay because uh, so let's execute it see it is able to run even a text file because it it contains the python code so now uh, i'm just going to notepad I'm just going to uh, create a file without any sort of extension, uh, just a plain text file without any extension at all. And file, I'm going to say save as prog01 and I'm going to say all files. So now it will, uh, this particular action will create a file without any extension. I'll just save. Okay, I'm just... Let's say program all files 
let me mark it in double quotes so it will okay so now it has created a plain file without any extension so just say print hello world yet again okay so let me maximize it and just execute the file again python okay so now you can see that this file it runs okay now we just saw how to uh, run create and run a simple python program on windows platform where python 3 interpreter is installed so now uh, we we should also uh, uh, try the same thing with a linux computer so again i'm going to connect to my raspberry pi computer which is the uh, which is uh, located in my network so let me connect to raspberry pi okay okay so there is a editor there is an editor in um uh, raspberry pi uh, raspbian it's known as nano so let's create a simple python code file prog01 nano prog01 and okay this is the nano editor print so customary hello world statement i'm going to save this particular file i'm going to press enter and just going to say python 3 prog01 okay so uh, this executes the file okay so let's create a file with an extension dot py okay so print hello world again and control x save and let's execute the file see it executes it again okay and the last thing that we are going to try is we are going to create a simple text file and we are going to write the python code in that this time we are going to use single quotes yet again and this is how we invoke xt so this is how we uh, simply execute the python uh, code in linux so uh, as as i have mentioned earlier you don't have to uh, mention any file name but it it is better it is uh, considered as a good practice if you uh, have uh, if you use a dot py as an extension to your python code files it is uh, gonna make your life easier down the line when you are going to search for your code files you can just like run the commands uh, in windows or linux to um, to search all of the py files with dot py extension so now suppose in this directory if i want to search for the files with uh, py extension I'm, I'm just gonna say ls minus la star dot py so this is going to return me the list of all the files which are supposed to be the python code files the files which are supposed to contain the python code so now uh, of course i have actually the python code in uh, prog01 as well as prog01.txt but mm, it's kind of like difficult to uh, judge only by uh, seeing the file names without any extension what sort of code the file contains so it is a best practice to uh, append your file name with .py always use .py extension for your python codes um, so that's it for this particular tutorial um, in the next tutorial we are going to understand uh, the different modes of uh, python programming uh, 